Searching for the source of the city's latest E. coli outbreak, now some people say they didn't know they should be boiling, boiling their water until it was too late. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at 4. I'm Jenny Hansen. And I'm Cor Harlan in this afternoon for Amy Troy. That E. coli scare actually even forced some businesses to shut down. Coin Local 6 reporter Casey Montoya begins our coverage of the Local 6 headlines this afternoon. Casey? Well, CORR, Water Bureau officials say they weren't worried about the threat to public health. They had to issue that boil water advisory due to state law, but they're not denying the big inconvenience this was for households and businesses over the weekend. Imagine telling every guest inside this Hilton Hotel where there's a huge convention going on this weekend that it's not safe to drink the water. I'm over in Goose Hollow. And how'd you find out about it? Facebook. Kieran Henthorn uh, found out about Portland's boil water advisory through social media as word spread about a possible E. coli contamination in one of Portland's reservoirs. Some routine testing done last Thursday turned up positive on Friday, causing the city to shut down Reservoir 3 at Washington Park and do follow up tests. After another round of testing showed more positive results, city officials were ordered to let the public know about the threat. The Portland Bureau of Emergency Management use their emergency alert system to spread the word, but that system is still not fail-proof. Many Portlanders didn't know they had to sign up for the alerts. And our downstairs neighbor didn't know, and she has a five-year-old grandson that was staying with her, and they'd, they'd been drinking water all day. And she didn't know until I posted it. City officials say the testing showed the bacteria was not the strain of E. coli that makes us sick, but there have been some reports of illness since the water scare. Eight people called and said that were they're feeling ill. Um, and so we follow, the county health office follows up with, those, with every one of those people. The city did some more testing on Saturday, and then on Sunday, they finally got the negative results they were looking for, but say you should still run your tap for two minutes before you start drinking the water. And this is a reminder, you do have to sign up for those public alerts if you want to receive one via text message. We'll put a link to that up on our website. Meantime, a lot of people say they are still going to be drinking water out of a bottle for the next few days. Reporting for you live in downtown Portland, Casey Montoya, Quinn Local 6.